What really happens when Earth's magnetic poles shift? In this video, I will clarify the misconception surrounding the pole shift. Since the inner core of Earth is solid and spins independently from the outer crust, the magnetic pole shift will first cause the inner solid core to shift on its axial angle, which would put pressure on the outer crust, because neither the inner solid core nor the outer crust is a perfect sphere, but rather they are wider on their equators, just like a tangerine. This would cause outward pressure on the crust in the direction of the core's shift and affect the outer crust as a secondary effect due to the push, drag, and friction effect coming from the shifting torus solid core. The inner core's shift would cause the toroidal-shaped magnetosphere to also shift and consequently would expose a new geographic area to extreme cold weather due to the opening in the torus sphere moving into a new geographic region, expanding the frozen polar region and causing a mini ice age. This could have drastic consequences on Earth's weather. Depending on the severity and extent of the magnetic pole shift, the consequence to tectonic plates movement and volcanic eruptions will be proportional to how much the magnetic poles shift. Because the shifting inner core is going to cause outward pressure on the outer lava area that is located between the inner core and the outer shell mantle. So the magnetic pole shift would cause a mini ice age because the location where the magnetic poles would shift to and settle at would eventually become the new geographic poles. Due to the toroidal shaped magnetosphere shifting with the magnetic poles, the opening of the toroidal sphere at the exposed polar areas would relocate to a new region on the planet. This would create new magnetic and geographic pole regions aligned together. However, this period of transition from the old geographic poles to the new geographic and magnetic poles would temporarily create four frozen regions on the planet and would be a period of a mini ice age on Earth. This shift process would cause an expansion of the cold frozen regions on the planet from the old geographic poles and extending to the new magnetically shifted and created frozen poles. This change would significantly lower the temperature of the planet for an undetermined time period. The Ice Age period would last until the old geographic poles warm up, melt away, and realign with the newly created geographic poles. After the old geographic poles totally melt away, the temperature on Earth would reach a new equilibrium and the Ice Age period would subsequently end.